Welcome to uh, Keto for Health Freaks. So I've just started a new podcast called Keto for Health Freaks uh, because I'm a, I'm a health freak. Well, I don't think I'm a health freak, but everybody around me thinks I'm a health freak because I'm always so picky about my food. And so, so I don't have keto people in my life at all. So I'm the only weirdo. And uh, so that's why I called it Health Freaks because we are, I'm a freak. Um, so we've got Martina and uh, Martina, uh, how did you, what, what made you transition to, to keto? What made you want to go keto? Hi, hi Joe. Hi. Uh, to go to keto was the transition because I thought um, I really want to do something on my fat percentage and I tried a lot of things to, to lose weight and to lose fat and um, it never worked. It never worked best. It never worked like uh, uh, continuously or uh, also that I, I, I felt the the slightest uh, permanent change. So, and then I heard a lot about keto and um, that made me want to try it. Even uh, I thought it's going to be difficult, but um, for me, I found something and then uh, everything worked out and then I stopped again. But that made me uh, want to do keto and now I'm starting up again after my holiday so i want to go back into keto and when did you start your journey your keto journey when was it like like i started like maybe 20 years ago i started with dr atkins dr okay. atkins was also uh, almost uh keto i guess so all kind of different nutrition uh, possibilities to to uh control the weight because i always had the feeling um that because i'm not that big <laughs> that i would get maybe too thick and I, that was probably because my whole family is from my mother's side <laughs> they are quite corpulent and uh, mm. my mother had overweight my grandmother had overweight or both grandmothers had overweight so i was concerned that i uh, maybe would get easily overweighted and um yeah, and then probably I had an, a, a little obsession, I guess, in my head that I don't want to get overweighted. And yeah, you, I never... you, it's funny you meant Atkins. Uh, yeah. But Atkins actually started the keto first. Uh, he was, um, but then he got taken to court by yeah. the food or, or some, some industry uh, for promoting fat. And he's like, yeah, but all my patients are doing really well on it. And they're like, yeah, but it doesn't follow the science. The science says, you know, fat is bad. And so they yeah. banned him from um, um, doing um, keto. It was which is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. He got ridiculous. taken to court. It was ridiculous. Yeah. It was the most. It was like a kangaroo court. Um, they were like, yeah, but you know, the the resident science is, you know, is you know the perceived wisdom at that time was that you should eat um high carb right and yeah. and and as little fat as possible and your oh, then the light is, the light food huh? yeah so. that's right yeah that's it yeah they actually recommend i think it's 70 percent of your calorie should come come from grains or something that's ridiculous. yeah <laughs> anyway uh, so 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 you started about 20 years ago and, i started and 20 years ago but then it fluctuated so i tried it and then I maybe did lose some weight, but then I gained weight because uh, it, it's always this uh, yo-yo effect. And um, it's not that I'm uh, uh, I'm a obese person, but I I have a weight, I have a scale at home right now. And um, uh, like five years ago, I had my best keto experience because I I, I had again. This weight issue, not only the weight issue, but also the health issues. Like I have automolecular therapists in my surrounding, and I went there, and then I saw that my um, fat percentage was very high, and my vascular fat that 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 uh, that's in 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 your fiends and so, and um, even my underskin fat. So uh, 
I went to my friend who's an automolecular therapist and and get a session with her and and a meet uh, like we, we were all measuring and then she also said that my blood sugar um is quite high I'm I'm not diabetes but it's like uh I'm building up an insulin resistance so it's also a health thing yeah huh? and uh, I got quite um uh, concerned about my health i thought okay this is on the way to diabetes too and that is how, how a society is going to a uh, diabetes too society because it it's too much for our system probably so um and i'm not always disciplined enough but it helps me if i have something that uh um i really can work with and she had a uh, she had like tree care it's called it's a fooding a system um uh, you don't have to buy like supplements you, you just buy basic um uh, nutrition and then you have uh your um, diet scheme but then then you start like you eat every 2 hours so and that made it easy for me because i really love to eat but that that, that i didn't know about intermediate fasting and so on at that time oh, i did know something but i, I, I didn't uh, practice it so that's uh, and I had the best results with her, and it was about five years ago. Then I I did lose about ten percent fat per ten uh, percent uh, of my fat percentage with uh, with keto, and I did lose six to seven uh, kilos. This was really nice, and without like too much hassle. So I did eat every two hours. I I, I I kept it going, and and I even was not. And I have my keto sticks uh, that I could check if I'm in keto, because uh, uh, sometimes I had this chocolate attack still <laughs> something, and then I thought, oh god, now uh, I have to find out if I can come back into keto. And the keto sticks are helping, and I'm I'm mostly I'm not in a high keto, but I'm in a zero point five keto. But this was enough to drop my fat percentage and even to drop my kilo. So I was very happy with that. But then life happened again. So um, I I did let it go because everywhere there is uh, like uh, all this carbohydrates and every everything. So and I and I like. I like my pretzels, the Bavarian pretzels. I'm originally from Munich. I do live in the Netherlands. And I, I do like also the carb stuff and the pizza and so on. But um, it went quite well because I I, I didn't, um, I, I fell always back into a low carb diet uh, and, and a lot of like uh, still high protein. So it was quite good until I had a, a health issue beginning this year and i immediately gained five five kilos six kilos within no time so um, and then i went to my orthomolecular again and the same it's uh it's it's worse even right now so my insulin resistance is very high my uh, how, how how old are you by the way um i'm 53 53 okay yeah, yeah. and uh, i uh, with my measuring i came back through the keto f uh, nutrition and through my losing the fat percentage i came back about to an age of 35 huh, on a scale and now i'm almost 60 huh, from like uh, f physically fitness of my body right now and um i blame it on this um Darm infection that I had in the beginning of the year, but for your health, um, it was terrible. I had got a leaking gut syndrome and everything, and and my whole system like panicked. So um, everything went into fat. So I I, I I gained six kilos in not even two months or something, and I could feel it, you know, like the breathing and everything. So, uh, and I'm still not a thick person or somebody who, who looks very overweight, but it, it's not healthy. I can, you, you, you see the measurement and it's not healthy and it's on the way to diabetes too. So, um, I'm determined to go back 
um, by now. So I, I'm, I already started to get myself back into track. Yeah. And I think also it would help to do more exercise. And um, so I have to get my schedule back. Normally I went three times a week to the sports school. So and then due, due to life and all uh, hassles and a lot of work, I manage maybe once, maybe twice. So I, I, I at least I have to go twice. So I want to yeah. go back. So exactly. how often do you sport? Uh, I, I, I don't go to the gym. Um, you don't go to a gym? No. I, I just work out at home. Oh, I mean, no. I, I, so I do, I, do a, I, do, I do probably too much exercise sometimes. Um, so um, I just like in the morning, I'll just get up and I'll do... I don't know, 20 press ups, uh, 20 squats, some chin ups. Yeah. And that's it, it. It, it. That's in, it's done. Yeah. I, I'm 56. Uh, 56. Yeah. Nice. He also looks yeah. so young. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my my, my girl, girlfriend is 40. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, everybody says, it, it, but I didn't used to look like this. I used to look older. Uh, older. Then, nice. Yeah. And then when I went keto, and I used to be fat as well. Like um, overweight, and when I went keto, all the weight fell off. Everything changed. So when like, did you wow. start your keto journey? When did you start? Oh, I only started um, 2016, 2017, something like that. Yes. It wasn't that long ago. Um, but I, I ended up with diabetes. Yeah. Uh, um, I ended up with diabetes. Uh, high, um, um, high blood pressure. High blood pressure. What's the other one? Uh, a sciatica. All kinds of problems. Like just knocked me for six, and I didn't get a choice. Like yeah. I had to go keto. Like, and I didn't. I went keto like that. Like, yeah. Literally. One like, day to keto. Uh, yeah. One one day I'm normal. Next day I'm a keto. That was like very <laughs> quick because I didn't have a choice. Like no. uh, God didn't give me a choice. He said, "You're going keto." Oh, you die, and I just well, okay. I go keto, <laughs> um, and it's not ter- it's not bad. I, I, it's really not bad. Yeah, yeah. So how, yeah, yeah. how often do you eat a day? Um, I eat once or twice a day. Yeah. Um, and also, do you do the intermediate fasting now? Yeah, that you... Well, you have to because um, yeah. if you're only eating once a day, then you're intermittent fasting automatically. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you're eating twice a day, you're also intermittent fasting. So I intermittent fast, I think, uh, most days. I would say six out of seven days I intermittent fast. Um, but, I've, but I've cut out all the crap food I had to cut it out. Yeah. Um, so so what, are your, uh, what are your weaknesses? You know, like what triggers you to eat uh, crap food? Uh, stress. <laughs> I think when I'm too stressed, uh then uh the uh it's it's still an addiction eh? so i i freed myself of a lot of addictions but uh the like not even yeah sugar sugar is still i think uh a basic thing even i do a lot of stevia uh after after f- flu uh uh fluids of stevia it's not it's not sugar but it's uh, the only one where's no influence on your blood uh, uh um the, the blood sugar stevia has no influence on it but even we should not eat too sweet because then it's in your brain something that's uh, switching on um it's mostly stress and when i'm tired and when i'm uh fed up with something this is still I'm still an emotional eater, I think so. So there's some, uh, and then uh, it, the, then it's uh, when I'm when everything goes wrong or something at the moment, and then I feel like okay, and now I have my croissant. I go to my Italian uh, shop, have a coffee, sit down, enjoy the sunset. Now I enjoy life. Just with my croissant, but that's that's something in my brain. So I can enjoy life with something else. And they do have, for example, also a vitello tonato that I can eat. Oh, you know? okay, yeah. So um, um, and I and I guess 
even uh, talking to you right now will help me to to uh, just to to turn it on again my 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 mindset that's it i think yeah. if i I get the mindset on you said you had no choice that made your mind just go okay we do keto and I when I the first time when I saw this uh, high blood sugar and and on my way to diabetes too I thought okay I don't want to do it and I was really I was really like uh, uh, very sad about that that food all the good things it's not all that that's not that like croissants and potatoes and so on that they are the 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 um, that, that they are the good things but that food could make you sick you know but food can make you healthy and food can make you sick and uh it's not for me i still can have something maybe once a month uh, do just create something for myself that makes my head easier to to understand that, um, yeah, to make the healthy choices mm. with food. Did you did the challenge after our Tony Robbins experience? Did you do the challenge? The what challenge? The, the ten day like uh, health challenge. They start now. Uh, me, the, that, 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 yeah, yeah, that's like so so low. That yeah. I would actually be going backwards if I did that challenge. I know, right? because there was a lot of uh, veggies and so on. Uh, so I actually yeah. did a, a life mastery. Yeah, I was not impressed. Uh, I didn't uh, like it was so there was so much, and it's like, oh, this is vegan. Oh, this is yeah. vegan. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, but it's still you know carbs. It's still full of yeah. carbs. Still so, full of carbs, indeed. Yeah, and uh, like I, yeah. So but one of the things that helped me a lot. Is I label food. Um, yeah. I label uh, like if I see something, if I see bad food, I automatically label it in my head. I'm like, oh, oh, that's cancer over there. Oh, that one's okay. diabetes. You know, like so I do that all the time. Yeah. And I used to at first, I used to do it silently. Uh, if I if I see a cake or a biscuit or chocolate or whatever, I would go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's cancer. But people are going, oh, go on, have one. Oh, go on, you know, go on, yeah. And that used to happen. So I go, oh, what, you want me to have the diabetes there? Is that, that one's diabetes. Do you want me to have that one? Is that what you want me to eat, right? Oh, that one's cancer. Would you like me to eat the cancer? Is that what you're offering me, cancer, right? Um, yeah, and so I, under I understand that it can help, but it's also quite drastical, you know? Very what? Drastic, drastic. Drastic. I don't know. Yeah. Drastic. I, I I don't. For me, it doesn't seem. It seems mild because I I I don't because okay. I'll give you an example, right? I I I used to have house parties and I used to have this and you know people come around and they will bring food and uh, one of my friends um, he came around right and he bought a dozen donuts. You know mm. those cheap donuts, like yeah. really cheap yeah. donuts. I was like, wow, maybe he's going somewhere. Maybe he's going to a party and he's bought the donuts for that. But he brings the donuts to my house, right? Puts it on my kitchen room table, uh, to table. And then, you know, and then, and, and during our conversations or whatever we're doing, he eats one of the donuts, right? And I'm like, okay, yeah, he's eating one of the donuts. Fair enough, right? And then he leaves. He's got, I gotta go. You, you know, it's time to go. It was a couple of hours later, right? And he leaves the donuts on the, on the, on the kitchen table. And I'm like, and and I forget that he's left the donuts. And then I looked. I'm like, oh, okay. Hmm, fair enough. So I just crushed them up and I put them in the bin, right? Um, and then he came came a couple of weeks later. And again, he bought donuts, like a dozen donuts. I'm like, that's strange. Why has he bought donuts again, right? And uh, clearly he didn't take them last time, right? So I said, who are those for? And he said, oh, I bought them for you. And I said, oh, wow, that's really nice. Uh, so there's all of these donuts are for me. And he goes, yeah, 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 I'm just going to take one. And I said, yeah, 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 take one. And he said, well, the rest are yours. And I went, all right, fair enough. And they were still in that plastic thing. So I crushed it, crushed it together, and I put it in the bin. And he was like, what are you doing? What, are you, just, you, what, what you just destroyed the food, you know? Like, oh, my God. And I'm like, you know, that was, that was cancer, right? That was diabetes. Why would you bring me cancer and diabetes? So I had a go at him. I was like, look, 
why would you try to poison me? You know, like, why would you bring me bad food? You know, how'd it go? And, and, uh, and then the next time he came, he bought, I think it was olives or something. Do you know, like, um, like he changed. The healthy thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, why would you try to poison me? You know, like, and, and, and I'm, I find that helps a lot. I, I, I know to you it seems confrontational, but to me, I, I, I need to speak my truth. Yeah, and, no, uh, I, I need to. Understand. Yeah, so I yeah, also so if, sometimes shocking can help. Yes, like that's what uh, I shocking. Got. That, that was a shock to him. That. Yeah, yeah, and and it, it happened to a, a few times with me. Like another friend of mine, he whenever he came around to to my party, he would bring um, you know those uh, white bread. Yeah, and yeah. Nobody yeah. would eat it, right? And at the end, he would just leave it. He wouldn't eat it either. And then I would just, when everybody went, I would just throw in the bin. So I rang him up and I said, well, why are you bringing white bread? And he goes, I pick, you know, just bring you something. I said, well, don't do it because nobody yeah. eats it. I don't eat it. You don't eat it. What, the, you know, why would you do that to me, right? Yeah, it's an education in food. That's true because, uh, yeah. yeah, we had so, to. So, so, so I do that all the time now. And, and I, if I see, uh, if I'm at somebody's house, and they bring out cake or chocolates or donuts or anything for me, right? And I go, oh, that one's diabetes. Yeah. Do you, do you want me to? I mean, is that what you is that what you're offering me? Do you know? Like, and they'll be like, no, no, no. I'm not I, I, I'm I'm understand. Not I understand. It's a just. It's a, everybody has its own ways, I, and and you have uh, this way. But you already had diabetes, so yeah. uh, you were on the edge. And you know, and you don't want to go there. So my, sometimes it's better to shock people than to I, to uh, to be too nice. Yeah, uh, I, I find being nice doesn't work for me. Like yeah. for me, um, my diabetes was when I got diagnosed. Yeah. It was high, like it was in the red zone. My doctor wanted to put me on insulin, uh, metformin, everything, and he's like, "Got to get you on this stuff because your diabetes is way off." It was just off the charts. Um, and by this time, I had lost um, faith in the medical system. And he was like, and I was like, look, I'm going to go and figure this out. So I went yeah. home, I watched YouTube videos, I did this, I did that. And it all said keto. And I went, right, keto. Um, met, helped a lot. Um, so, but, and then, yeah. But, but the other thing I find, like if I'm in a shop, and it's, you know, like getting coffee, like you're saying. And the, the shop is, would you like a cake with that? And I'm now, I'm, I'm good. No, go on. Go on, have, have, have a cake. <laughs> it just live a little. And I go, look, if I ate that, I would live a little. But if I don't eat that, I get to live a lot. I'm mm -hmm. just greedy. I'm just really greedy. <laughs> I want to live a lot. Why do I want to live a little? I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not that polite. I mean, where I'm saying, I mean, no. Why the fuck would I want to live a little? You know, am I stupid? Yeah, you eat the cake. You no, live a little. <laughs> no, you eat that now. Yeah, so and so. that, but it, yeah, it's it's a different approach, you know. So and uh, it's it's okay, and uh, it will. Uh, you you have your own story, so I I, I guess uh, I'm I'm curious about some um, some tips for the keto because uh, I I heard already like this two two times a day eating. I think that would be good for me, so that that is also I I would get food out of my system, also of my head for a while. Um, but as I told you in the beginning, it helped me to eat this for the first four weeks to start it up every two week every two hours. But due to the leaking darm. The, the, of the darm infection from the beginning of this year I can't do that so I was only allowed to eat three or four times a day or even two or three times a day because the, the darms need to get dressed mm. and so I think I should I should try to to do it uh, this twice a, a day did you, did you, and, did and you, already my addiction uh, comes up yeah I, I, I suffered massively from addiction because I grew up with pizza, I grew up with fish and chips, I grew up with bread, you know, like I grew up with all the worst foods. Uh, and so for me, it was a massive struggle. Like in Indian families, we eat, a, it's all carbs and sweets. 
this yeah. is why Indians uh, have the highest rate of diabetes in the world. Yeah, that's... Because all we eat is sugars and, 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 and carbs. That's all we eat. That's it. Um, do you eat? Do you still eat like um, uh, like sometimes fruit and with whipped cream or something? No, no, fr no fruits anymore. When there's too much sugar. Yeah, I mean the only thing I will eat is um, outside um, during the summer. We get blackberries or yeah, yeah. blackberry. So I have yeah. some blackberries. I'll pick them up from the the bushes, but that's it. Um, that's it. What what I do is I just don't buy rubbish. Yeah. I just don't allow myself to buy rubbish. Like I don't think I've ever bought. The only thing I buy is eggs, meat, fish, and butter. That's it. That's all I buy. If I go into a supermarket, I don't look at anything else. I just buy some vegetables and some. But I, I never because I know, and I also I don't buy peanuts or nuts or anything like that. Because they're too addictive for me, mm -hmm. so I ju I just don't have them in the house. Um, so I just yeah, like in during lockdown, um, my fridge was most of the time empty. It just had some butter and some eggs in it. That's it. And if I wanted to eat something and it wasn't in the fridge, I'd I'd go and buy that day's food, eat it, and that's it. That's so, it. Because if I have it, I will eat, you it. eat it. Okay. So I just don't have any food. Um, that's the only way I can do it, and I have to constantly label it. Yeah, I have to constantly make it, it easier. Yeah. So I'm always going. Oh yeah, yeah. If I if I'm walking through a supermarket and I see donuts, and I go, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that one's over there is diabetes. Oh, that one's over there is cancer. Oh, that's high blood pressure. Oh, that's Alzheimer's. Do you know? Like I'm always labeling it in my head. To, to tell my brain, so my subconscious. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's no, not good. It's not good. That is not good. That's I will away. find something to tell my brain it's not good, but I don't make them uh, into diseases all the time, especially, uh, uh, except of diabetes. Because yeah. that will help me because I don't want to become diabetes. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I, I, um, um, if, if you do, do you wait until after like 12? To eat? Yeah, so I, I've followed different, I've tried different things and lots of different yeah. ones. And the one that works for me at this point in time, and it's just, I'm just, it's just me, yeah, yeah. is not to eat until I've finished my work. Yeah. Um, so in the morning, I'll have a, a coffee or, or a mushroom coffee. So yeah. this morning, I had a mushroom coffee. And what I do is my goal is not to eat, right? That's the goal. Um, yeah. and so it's to leave it as late as possible. So sometimes I eat at uh, 12, sometimes at three, sometimes four, sometimes six. And if I can, if I, if I can, if I Don't can, eat. yeah, and, and then I'm happy to take it to the next day as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So because, yeah, if, if, but once my biggest problem is once I put some food in my mouth, that's it. It triggers me. As soon as I put some food in, then my brain's like, okay, we've got food. Okay, eat, eat, you know, like, so I, if I don't eat, so I'm mm. one of those where I either eat or I don't eat. Mm. And if, so the best way I find, if I, especially if I want to do a lot of work, computer mm. work, the only time I can do it is if I don't eat. If mm -hmm. I eat, I can't do any work. Uh, my productivity goes to zero. Like, I can't do anything. Uh, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Yeah, but yeah. maybe you can change that too, you know. That's also, I think it's also a brain thing in a, after a while. But the, the healthier, the healthiest part is that if, if your body functions well on normally twice a day food or uh, um, in some situations that you don't eat, and I like the mushroom coffees too, <laughs> so, uh, they, um, yeah. Uh, I also had something. It's not about the keto, but maybe that's something to consider because since since January, even um, I started to do the microdosing with oh. uh, the psilocybine, and this also uh, what it in the beginning I I got a lot of um, uh, triggers like I really wanted to eat a lot. 
But then I, I realized I just have to put the right intentions, but the, because the uh, psilocybin, the truffle can help also to lower that. And now I'm I'm using it as an intention to get me into a healthy lifestyle again. So uh, uh, how much do you take? That's interesting. Uh, it's depending. So uh, you can order that uh, on post order, and I think also I don't know if it's going to the UK, but you can find out. Maybe I can get, send you a, a link. It's uh, ordered by mail, and um, um, it's depending between, yeah, you have to find it out, between 0 0.3 and 2 grams every every third day. Oh, so right, you do okay. once every three days. Yeah. And, uh, you don't, it's very subtle. So it's not that you have a, a, a macro doses and you you got all these hallucinations or whatever. It's just uh, you have it in your system. It's like homeopathic, but then micro dosing. It's also you, you use a, a little bit of it, but it does something to me. So it's grounding me and it supports me to keep to my uh, goals. Uh, yeah. So that that can help to get maybe rid of the the um, the because what I sense that something is this this rigidity yeah rigid rigid lifestyle and and I I like to do keto but without a rigid lifestyle mm -hmm. because it, it frees me and I, I, um, everything that uh, uh, what I told you in the beginning if I say something I can't. And then the rebel is for me coming out. So for me, a rigid lifestyle is is not working forever. It's maybe working for a time if I if I put me on a on a discipline. But if I would uh, like to continue a lifestyle, then it must be in my system like um, fluently and and. Uh, and without the restrictions, because then what you do, like this labeling, it, ha it helps, but then it should be like normal, then it's not a restriction anymore, because that's your choice, because then you choose for the healthy lifestyle. And I sense this, uh, this, uh, this rigidity because you can't other, because you, 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 uh, it feels like you feel like there's no other way. Otherwise, I, I fell back maybe into to if I would start eating a day, then I would eat more often a day that would not fit to me. So, uh, but yeah, I have, for me it, uh, it feels like okay, I I understand it and I get uh, I get it, but I would like to have the freedom to eat. And uh, and not the 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 mindset for for me to to keep going with keto is like okay I allow myself like I I go to twice a day for food normally uh, because this would be enough because that's a healthy lifestyle so also labeling it as a healthy lifestyle not as a restriction but that it's enough that uh, for me it's maybe three or four times would be uh, too much but. If I eat three or four times a day, it's not a, a, a big failure or something. Or that that, that for for me, it's um, uh, as long as I, 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 I eat the right things. Yeah, and so the um, I understand that it can help, but mostly if uh, if it's too rigid, then one then then people could break out once in a while and then maybe if you really break out and then you get loose and then maybe a food addiction just kicks in then then maybe you come uh, really on the other side because then uh, the you to ask me about my triggers so maybe there are you uh, for you also triggers you, that that you don't want to go on with a healthy lifestyle anymore because it's not worth it anymore or whatever you know, there comes something else up so i think it's good to have a balance in that and um, I'm looking forward to talk to you uh, in uh, some weeks and to find out how it's going. And uh, I sent you something about the psilocybin and maybe, maybe this helps to, to, uh, to soften up. Mm. To, no, I, 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 I've microdosed on psilocybin. Yes. I've also, I've also microdosed on uh, LSD. LSD, yeah. I, I find for me personally, uh, LSD works better. Yeah, I had uh, heard it more often, but I, I haven't tried the LSD yet. Oh, okay. I mean, 
because the LSD I find is uh, more uh, more smoother. Smoother, okay. Smoother and it lasts longer. Okay. Uh, for the so if I do if I microdose an LSD, I'll take I'll take it in the morning, and it lasts the whole day. Okay. Um, and it, the the after effects also, but I will, but but I like both. But for me, yeah, I, I it's prefer, interesting. Yeah, LSD. I'm I'm very into the microdosing. So I think I, I'm in, into experimenting right now the, the the positive effects about that also on the food, also on the the 